And we're back on the roof. So we actually got a no heat call, first one of the season. Uh, so I'm calling for heat from the compressor or from the thermostat and the inducer is kicking on, but nothing else is happening. Uh, air conditioner still works and fan still works. So uh, let's open this up and see what's going on. So here we go. We got this all opened up and the inducer is spinning. Nothing else seems to be happening. Uh, so that tell, does tell us we are receiving the call for heat. Um, so you may notice that there's no pressure switch. So this right here, this is actually a centrifugal switch. So when it spins, it actually like flings out the pieces which close the switch. So we want to see if that's actually working. We've disconnected our centrifugal switch here and it is closed. So that is working. And I did notice that it is hooked up to this rollout. So it's possible that the rollout is tripped. This wire here is melted a little bit. So let's see what's up with that. Go ahead and push that in. Doesn't seem to be reset. So we got to follow this and see what's going on. I just tested this rollout, it's closed. Um, so I'm tracing these wires and it actually runs down here and goes over there. So there might be an auxiliary limit. And then it comes back on this wire and then connects to this wire, which runs to here. And then this wire goes into the board, into that Molex connector. So I'm thinking that these two fat blue uh, white wires here um, are some kind of switch. So we're gonna go ahead and own that out. So that is closed. Once I plugged everything in, I heard something click. It looks like the hot surface igniter is turned on. So it may have been in an ignition lockout. The little pilot doesn't appear to be, is it lit? Yeah, the pilot's lit. Okay. So we may have had a failed ignition. Pilot is lit. See if we get main burners. Interesting thing here is the pilot is lit. The igniter keeps turning on. Maybe the flame sensor is not detecting the flame. We might need to take that all apart and clean it. We got our burner assembly out, so we're gonna go ahead and just clean this whole thing. I'm gonna take this entire thing apart and get it all nice and clean. Hopefully, hopefully it's the flame sensor. Otherwise, that means I did all this in vain. Um, the main controller for the flame sensor is gonna be in the gas valve, so that could potentially be the issue. There's our pilot assembly. Everything seems pretty old. loose, so yeah, I'm gonna take this whole thing apart. Oh yeah, look at that. That's filthy. Filthy. The burner said why they use in-shot burners and then they use a pilot. Like, why not just direct ignition? Wow, oh, look how dirty that is. That's that's the color it's supposed to be, and that's the color it is. getting nitty gritty of this thing. We got our pilot assembly. So I'm just dusting off all the parts individually. Look at that, oof, that's dirty. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. In a perfect world, I'll be able to wash these, but there's no water here. So best I can do is just dust it off. Crossover tubes are looking okay, but they have a little bit of dirt in them, so we'll get those clean. Okay, now we're gonna very carefully clean this. I don't wanna break that uh, hot surface igniter. It is definitely dusty. That flame sensor is gonna be tricky to clean and I could see it's coated. So it's probably just not detecting the flame. That's why the hot surface igniter kept kicking back on. So there is a clip that looks like it's holding those in place. So I'm gonna see if I can pull that out without damaging anything. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a, this whole thing here. It looks like it slides out. So that popped right out. Sweet. Okay. Cool. So yeah, that's much better. Um, now I can actually get to it because this thing, I'm going to clean this too, but yeah, now I can get to it a little bit better. Still got to be careful not to damage that hot surface igniter. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the pilot assembly as well. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pop that back in there carefully. Pop our clip back in there. Hopefully that fixes our problem. So let's go ahead and try to reassemble this thing. I'm not sure if I remember how it goes back together, but we'll see. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and reinstall this into the unit and cycle it and hopefully it works. All right, so we got our gas line reduped. Okay, cool. And one of the things I like to do is I wipe off my excess dope. That's just how I was taught. It just looks nicer, and less messy. And then if you have an actual leak, the dope won't actually block the leak. All right, cool. So we got that done. Put our union back on. No dope necessary for the union. Anytime you remove the gas line, you always want to make sure you didn't cause a leak. So we got some of this stuff. Notice I put the towel under there that way it doesn't drip all over everything. Okay. And then you can also do that. Alright, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm not seeing any bubbles. Go ahead and clean up our mess here. We got everything wired back up. We're gonna go ahead and restore power and we're gonna see if she lights up. Hopefully she does. Okay, we got pilot light. Oh, it looks much bigger. I think it's actually touching the flame sensor now. Our pilot assembly is just dirty. Sweet. All right, let's try this a few more times. I disconnected one of the safeties. I'm gonna plug it back in. Okay, we got pilot. Definitely touching the uh, flame sensor, and we have the burner. Sweet. Next thing in next, we're gonna go ahead and hook up my manometer and check the gas pressure. All right, so we got our manometer hooked up. We can turn the gas on. So our inlet pressure is gonna be here. So it's eight point, well, seven point something. And it will drop a little bit once the unit is actually running, uh, which is totally to, to uh, it's totally normal. So. Let's go ahead and kick it on. We're going to just make sure our gas pressure is good before we take off. Uh, so let's go ahead and power this back up. There's our hot surface igniter. All right, she lit up real quick that time. All right, so that's our inlet. That's our burner pressure. So everything's looking good. Keep an eye on it, but I think we're all right. pressure is good so yeah I think we fixed our problem so let's go ahead and get these manometers taken off well we're gonna let we're gonna monitor it a little bit make sure it goes through the full cycle and we'll take the manometers off close everything up zip tie everything and then uh, call it a day so anyway uh, hopefully this helps you out so thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe comment tell me what a horrible technician I am hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and if you like the tools that I'm using uh, pick up a set for yourself on my Amazon store thanks for watching